Everybody wants to know what's going on with the floor. I know. Welcome back to that 1870s homestead, friends. My name's Rachel. And I'm Todd, and you're in our living room. If you caught a recent video that we did, we had hired a contractor to come in and rip up the carpet on the first floor of our farmhouse and put down laminate flooring. And when we <laughs> pulled back the carpet, the original hardwood floors were underneath, and they are in, for the most part, in pretty darn good shape, but there's spots that are really jacked up to the point where the laminate flooring guys said, nope, we can't install this, good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the more and more we looked at it, we kind of fell in love with the, the charm that was the original house. And so shortly thereafter, we told you guys we were gonna have a contractor out to see about refinishing them. And so many of you have been asking for updates, so we just wanted to tell you it's not done. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we've had like, multiple people out and um, give you just an update. And multiple contacts from you guys who yes. specialize in this saying, hey, yes. I do this stuff for a living, give me a call. So yes. we did leverage some of you. We could not obviously leverage all of you. So those of you who provided advice and contact information, thank you guys. Yeah. So, you know, we're walking in between the living room and Todd's study and there was a door. I don't know if you guys caught that in the video, but there was this little door here and it ne never really got used for much. Like, I mean, it was filled with carpet remnants. Like we would throw games and stuff in there, but then no one could get them back out. So let me show you. We're gonna make it into something magical today. So I've debated about things to do with this space for a long time. This is the living room wall, this is the study wall, the chimney's right next to you guys. And I originally I asked Todd, could we knock in this wall and build in like a built-in entertainment center? He really wasn't interested in messing with the, these beautiful um, plastered and lath walls and we'll give you some glimpses of all that. Um, so, what I've decided to do is kind of like the Chronicles of Narnia. Not exactly that magical, but it's gonna be my grandkids' playhouse. Little tiny hideout, no adults, just for the grandkids. And like, I mean, my oldest grandchild just turned one. So, as grandkids are added, They'll come in here and play and make believe and all that kind of stuff. So we just got back from Lowe's to get all the supplies. And uh, it's not gonna be too dramatic of a change, but it'll at least be a usable space. Um, and Todd got the electric cooked up this morning because there was no light in here, no electricity. So I just wanna share what we turned this tiny little, I mean, it's literally, I'm sitting Indian style and I've probably got five inches on both knees and I can, Todd could probably lay down. So it's probably six foot deep and I don't know, me wide. So yeah, it's gonna be so fun though. But we'll keep giving you updates, tell you about what's going on with the floor, stick around, watch this project evolve over the day and maybe it'll give you some inspiration on those little forgotten spots in your home. How can you turn them into usable spaces?
like I tried to do it a little bit extra generous. Put a woman at it. She'll get it done right every time. it was the stuff just makes like dust mm -hmm. everywhere but i was telling rachel what was the show called i don't remember fixer remember. upper, fixer upper yeah. when like the build portion of the project of the renovation is done and he hands it over to joanna and passes the short the torch that's kind of the phase that we're at now the build is done yeah rachel's going to go upstairs change her clothes put on some paint clothes and take you guys along for the decorating portion of this project. And while she does that, I'm gonna get this house cleaned back up. <laughs> Some, so. because it's eight o'clock already. Yeah. Hey, Mika. Lots of deliberating and a few extra cuts along the way. Yeah, there was, yeah, quite a few. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. We purposely decided to leave. I don't know if you guys can see, yeah the up kind of looking rustic showing the shiplap i figured this will cover at least a three-year-old height with the shelves and this wall back here i don't even know what that stuff is it's kind of just like fake wood i'm going to paint it with chalkboard paint so that kids can draw on it so i have myself at Lowe's, I picked up some chalkboard paint, so that's what we're gonna do. And if you're like feeling super nice, can you go down and get me some uh, painter's tape? I didn't realize this was that close to the floor. Well, I think that turned out pretty good. It's still drying. I've never done chalkboard paint before. And sorry about the light. It's just awful in here. Um, but I'm going to let this dry. I'll probably do another coat tomorrow. And um, tomorrow will be full decorating day. So I don't want to show too much. I'll be like Joanna here and I will show you guys the end result when all is said and done. Welcome! Isn't it magical? I love how it turned out. Like, I want to be a one-year-old or a three-year-old and play in here. I'm going to give you guys the full tour of Granny and Grandpa's No Grown-Ups Keep Out Kids Only Hideaway. So first we have the little reading nook and you can cut, shut the curtains for like imagination station and that's your fort and dress up cave and all the things. Like I can just remember my little kids when they played like the great big world of imagination and just so much fun they had. And so I got all their books in here, my daughter's old Build-A-Bears, activity boards, a big pillow for comfy time, and we have a bet. We wonder which grandkid will be the first grandkid that's brave enough to pull in a sleeping bag and sleep in here overnight and make it all night long without getting scared. Okay, now we got these cute little baskets that hang on the pegboard. I think we got those in the closet department at Lowe's. And this one's like dress up and music making. There's a little pretend stethoscope. So you guys know how I love thrifting and how I love resale shopping. So almost everything in here I didn't buy. It Almost everything came from, we have this store, I don't know if it's nationwide, but it's called Once Upon a Child. 
and it's like resale for children's items. So that's like where the little baby doll came from. All of these dolls and stuff, my daughter did not throw anything away through her entire childhood. So we have like everything. Um, but like a lot of this stuff came from those shops, like this cute little, oops, antique Tonka truck we bought at a flea market. We've had it forever. I just thought it would look cute in here. And the only thing I bought new, just because I had to have it for my grandkids, because it's my favorite Christmas movie, is Buddy the Elf and Jolie, Little People. So that was bought. And, oh, I just love it. Like, look what they had there. Like, the cutest things, little ladybug maracas. I mean, because I have, like, little, little grandkids. And I found them their very first flashlight. I'm so in love with this space. I want to just stay in here. We have lots of little toys, like Tonka toys and things like that, and a big basket of animals for them to play with. Oh, I'm in heaven. All right, so a lot of the other fun things that are in this room were left behind in this attic of this house. And we are just thrilled. And my um, nephew has played with this stuff since he was a baby. So now I have grandbabies, but we have the Fisher Price house. How cute is that with beds? And there's like the chairs and everything in the basket. And we have the little tractor and we have the schoolhouse to play with. And there's little Miss Minnie with her ABCs and we have a couple school chairs. And I don't have it in here yet, but we have the big space station with all the vintage little people, space people. Anyway, so I had this map from my nephew and we always put it together. It doesn't quite fit in this space, but I made it work. But anyway, you can get your toys out and you can play around. Just so fun, so fun. But the best part is behind you guys and up this fall, so I wanna show you that. No grown-ups, keep out. And there's an attendance. Who's official members? And so far, just Landon and Cooper are official members, but I hope the list just grows and grows and grows. And I got my little Christmas village up there set up for them. Lots of little Christmas decorations, just welcoming them to Granny's house when they come over. I'm so excited. So yep, we got chalk and crayons. They're not really old enough for that kind of stuff, but it's here for when they're ready. I just love it. I hope you guys do too. Give me your comments below. Did we do okay? I may end up replacing this little mat at the bottom um, if I can find like a play rug of similar you know, roads and everything that'll fit in here. But I love it. And Granny and Grandpa can't wait to have all the grandbabies over using their imagination and playing and having a lot of fun. So thanks for coming on the adventure. We did promise we would give you an update on the floor. So let me get this camera back out to Todd and we'll give you the last little bits of exactly what's happening with the main floor now that I got this project done. <laughs> okay, so where do we leave off at the beginning of the video? I think with we the flooring? said that we had several people out. We did. We had the first company was a guy who partners with the people who do the floor sanding and finishing. And he basically was like, yeah, I don't, I don't want this job. Mm -hmm. Basically his thought was rip it all up we do it down. and put a new flooring yeah. down, which mm -hmm. we're not really interested in doing. Right. And we mentioned earlier in the video about a lot of you guys, a lot of viewers of our channel reached out to us. Yeah, a lot of you have this business and good on you because a lot of us need you. <laughs> yeah. And there's a guy from um, Southeast Michigan from the Gross Eel area, uh, Krauss Builders, and he does a lot of the older homes and 
remodels Brian and, and restores, and restores. Okay. the older homes from Grosseal. And those were all built in the 20s. So he has a lot of experience in dealing with these floors. He came out one day, he looked at it and he was like, hmm, I was thinking you guys had like a two to three week job. This is like a two to three day job. Yeah. So. And this guy, so I know a lot of you were concerned and we had comments about you really need to check out your foundation because mm -hmm. you might have serious problems. We we knew the we thought we knew anyway that we were in okay shape with our foundation. Mm -hmm. But this gentleman affirmed it and he was like, This house will be here long after you guys are gone. The previous owners did a phenomenal job mm -hmm. um, fixing what needed to be fixed and just taking good care of it. Yeah. Um, so then he sent out, right, his superintendent? They're coming tomorrow morning. They're coming tomorrow morning. With the superintendent at nine o'clock to look over the job, figure out what they need, what what work needs to be done. Um, our floor joists are, are full dimension, like two by tens, I think I wanna say. Yeah. And this room over the years, they're they're kind of they're really bowed, so they they run this direction, and the whole floor bows this way. Mm -hmm. And if you stand in the middle of our living room and you jump up and down, the floor moves a good inch. You, yeah. In fact, I probably <laughs> see the camera bouncing when I do that. So right. That's like the main things we want them to do: shore up this flooring so it's when it's refinished, it doesn't bounce and deflect and crack everything that we've repaired, and then to repair some of the really bad spots for us. Yep. So we think that it can all happen in quicker time um, so that it's still done before the ho major holidays, before Christmas. Right. So that's our fingers crossed. We'll see what the superintendent says, but we're not keeping you guys in the dark. It's just not done. We haven't right. We've <laughs> made any progress. Almost, we've basically done nothing so yeah. far except reach out, make contacts, have people come out. So it's Thanksgiving in a couple of days. Yep. The floor finishing people are scheduled for December 7th. So hopefully these builder guys can get in here quick, get this stuff done for us, mm -hmm. get out of here. So when the sander guys come, everything's ready. They get sanded down, refinished, and we're good for Christmas. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you guys liked just the floor update and the playroom that we built. It, and it's just been a wonderful time this weekend. What it was like 10 degrees out yesterday, mm -hmm. four, four degrees this morning. So nothing better to do than to do projects in the house together. Yep. It was fun. See you guys on the next video. Bye guys.